Now the coin toss, and it's presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Both teams are lining up for the kickoff, and we're just about set to get this one underway. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. They bring him down at the 36 yard line. Did you see how much space there was for that tailback up front? He better be thanking his offensive lineman for that. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. Here we go. He scrambled. Now he's going to run and watch out. Slides down. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right, and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage, which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 50. here and again great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver first and ten all on the 35 yard line tackle around the 36 yard line it's never good for a back's confidence to get tackled for a loss but this guy knows that he's got to just keep at it and the holes will start to open up Left, picked off. 
Here he goes. Inside the 10. He'll take it all the way for the touchdown. How about the play by the defender? That was a great interception and an even better effort to bring the ball back for a touchdown. Splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. Bowman fields it at the one. He's tackled at the 29-yard line. So the offense will come back out onto the field, hoping for a little better result than that last pick six. This quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off the mistakes. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. From their own 35-yard line, it's second down. the 48-yard line, and a nice pickup there. I'll tell you what, the defense gambled a bit here and came with the blitz, and the quarterback showed tremendous poise by making a good read and delivered a nice ball to the open man. And they make the stop around the 44-yard line. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. Throws incomplete. The ball just sailed on him and he knows it. He'll get it next time. Throws incomplete intended for his wideouts. I thought they did a good job of reading the play and positioning themselves well to break up the pass. Garrett, back to return it. He fields the punt at the 13. He's knocked out of bounds at the 26-yard line. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Texas El Paso up seven points. The halfback with the carry, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. From their own 27-yard line, second down. And down he goes at the 29. Tight end, but it falls to the ground. Sloan is waiting for the snap. And he makes it out to about the 41 yard line. You talk about our meetings this week with the defensive coordinators, Kirk, and this is what they were hoping for that they can control the line of scrimmage. Uh, these players must have been listening pretty intently because that's exactly what we've seen. These defenses have come out, they've controlled things early, trying to just set the tone. It's really going to be up to both of these offenses to try to make some adjustments and try to be able to come after them in some way. Had his hands on it and dropped it. Boy, a golden opportunity missed by the defense. That was a sure interception only to be dropped. From their own 41-yard line, second down. Ready, They'll get him for a loss, and that run got stuck. Yeah, you're right. The defense definitely won the battle with the line of scrimmage there. Pulls 
throws it in, and that's a first down. Down the sideline. The 10. Touchdown. This guy just continues to impress me. Every time I watch this team play, he seems to come up with big plays. And the secondary didn't quite seem alert enough to defend that pass. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. And he adds the extra point. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down to the end zone for a touchback. And so far, it's been totally even. In close games like this, every possession is likely to matter. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Second and five. Ball on the 30. He makes his way to about the 38. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. So at the end of one, we're even at seven in this one. We can only hope the second quarter is as good as the first. Tight ball game, folks. Tackled after decent pickup. From their own 48-yard line, it's first down. Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. Inside the 42. Mims is back deep to return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now. He's out to the 30. Makes it to the 34. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 34. Throws it out right to the running back. And they hit him in the backfield. They'll lose eight yards there. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Seven yard line. From their own 37 yard line. Third down. Here's a screen pass. Gets it to the back. Tackled for a loss. That'll be a loss of one. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch.
Turk is the punter. Oh, excellent punt. He's out to the 30. He makes it to the 35-yard line. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. He makes it to the 38-yard line. From their own 38-yard line, second down. There's a the play fake. He's taken down around the 47 yard line. again and they'll get him in the backfield from their own 45 yard line it's second down slings it tackle made right around midfield yard line first down they'll wrestle him down in the backfield from a defensive coordinator standpoint it can really help out your scheme when you get excellent run support by the corner him hard at the 27. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. From the 27-yard line, first down. to scramble, but he's sacked. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. We're at play number nine of this current drive. rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. So we're looking at another third down here. Oh. Throwing right. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Texas El Paso to take the lead with this field goal. Kicks away, and he nails the long field goal. The Miners, these quarterback taken off earlier, down on the sideline right now. Doesn't look like he's in that much pain, and I would bet that we'll see him back in the game before the day is over. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know, we're getting so used to pinball football with a lot of points. Kind of fun to see defenses play this way. Kind of refreshing, isn't it? I mean, every single week we call games, and you're seeing scores in the 30s and 40s. This is one of those low-scoring games. Which offense will get that big break? Eventually, it could be the team that wins it. They'll spread the field with five wide. Now he's scrambling. 
Oklahoma will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 28-yard line. Here they come. Runs with it, and he's got room. He's out of bounds around the 39-yard line. And he has a huge game. Yeah, and I like the decision-making ability of this quarterback. He looks and looks. He sees nothing. He didn't get rattled. He sees some green in front of him, and he takes off. Ends up with a great run. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's tackled at about the 49. Quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. Second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Setting up blockers and running backs got it on the screen. He's tackled right around the 50. They come out in a five-wide set. Under pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. He's going to air it long. In and out of his hands. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 40. Picks up about four yards with the catch. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. into the end zone and this will be a touchback great first half of action and we're hoping for more of the same 10-7 UTEP David, thanks, guys. Second half action, just about ready to start here. And he got all of this one. Great kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Texas El Paso has a three-point lead. Brought down at about the 23-yard line. their own 23-yard line. It's second down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. So it's complete, but they didn't get much there. And that's because the defense was just waiting on it, and they attacked. The quarterback should have found somebody else downfield. Defense looks like they're going to send in the cavalry on this one. Brought down at the 49. I think this defense has played well enough to be able to win this game, obviously. But at some point, you'd love to see their own offense 
feed off of some of the confidence that their defense is playing with because up to this point, the defense is keeping them in the game. The offense isn't quite doing enough to be able to build on that lead. And he's taken down the 39-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 39. With a quick throw. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Caught it, but failed to get that one necessary foot in. That's an outstanding catch, and he just missed making a big-time play. From the 21-yard line, second down. And they make the stop at the 24. I'd look for this offense to go back to some more straightforward between the tackles running. They want to win this thing in the trenches. Here comes the pressure. He heaves it to the end zone. And it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 20. Texas El Paso is up by three. Holds it in and stop in his tracks with that tackle. down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. And he's tackled right away. Up to around the 45. From their own 45 yard line, it's first down. Mike two, Mike two. Here's an opening. Makes it out to about the 39. Eighth play of this drive. Tight end right. Four right. down, four down. Mike two. Watch two. Watch two. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. And here's another third down. Texas El Paso holds a field goal lead. The 37. The Miners running back. He was injured early. You see him down there on the sideline, and it looks like he's ready to get back in the game. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Looks over the middle, and it's picked off. I just don't think he saw the defender, and he threw the ball right at him. That's what happens when you focus on one guy. You get tunnel vision. From their own 34-yard line, first down. They go with a run. 
tries to get around the corner. Nice run, and he's brought down. three yards to get the first down here on third down. Gains his way to the 49-yard line. Gives it left side. And they'll bring him down behind the line. Second and 13. Ball in their own 47. Ready! Off play action. Now he's on the move. He's knocked out of bounds around the 35 yard line. The offense coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. And he's stopped behind the line. And this play is number eight on the drive. Zips it to the back. They'll bring him down at the 43-yard line. So another third down here, and this time it's third and long. He chucks it downfield. He hauls it in, and he's finally shoved out at the seven. Both offenses still trying to find a way to open things up. The end of three quarters. 10-7, minor. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. The offense looking here to exercise any red zone demons they might have after throwing an interception on their last trip. He's taken down around the six-yard line. Here's the 11th play of the drive. Oh, you got deep? Tins the mic. Tins the mic. Let's go. Green 90. Green 90. goal and they can already taste the lead. Throws a bullet. This one's intercepted. It's the junior safety. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass. Especially at this point in the game. Texas El Paso is up a field goal. They try to run up the middle, but met in the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18. Throws it away. Comes up in the pocket and sacked. 
Fourth and long here after the sack. These special teams have done it before, blocking punts. It looks like they're coming after this one. They threw a pick the last time out. Should be interesting to see what they do this time. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Tackle made at the 36-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. From the 36-yard line, second down. Decent run here, right side. He steps up at the 27. It's fourth down. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. He gets it up, and it's long enough, and he splits the uprights. Looks like they're ready for the kick. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Deep to return the punt. Tackle <laughs> made at the 44. Yeah, this has just been a classic defensive battle all game long. I've been so impressed with both of these defenses, especially the defensive line. They've been stout against the run. They've got the pressure on the quarterback. It's made it tough for either one of these offenses to put up any points. We might have overtime in the back of our minds, but down on the field, that hasn't occurred to anyone. They want to end this thing in regulation. Quick out to his receiver, and he's tackled at the 42. From the 42-yard line, first down. Less than three minutes in the game. He's tackled at the 41-yard line. Goes to the tailback, incomplete. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Turk to punt. Booming kick. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Here comes the offense, hoping to erase the memory of the fumble on their last drive. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. He throws left. That close to being intercepted. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 20-yard line. Gets rid of it quickly. And this one's going to get intercepted. What a crucial interception. And that'll change the whole landscape of this game. And now is the time to take advantage. This offense still has a job to do. They need to put points on the board to break this time. Wow. Do we have a great game or what? Just under two minutes in the game. Throws it deep. Down at the three yard line. First and goal as they look to take the lead. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drive? He's taken down around the one-yard line. the PAT. So a short three-play, 48-yard drive, and they come away with seven points. They line up to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. by the wide out here in the fourth quarter. That is textbook pass defense. As soon as the ball hit the receiver's hands, he was all over. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. Gets rid of it quickly, and that was almost picked. the stop at the 43. Oh no, they really didn't need that. And as a quarterback, you can't give up an interception late in the game. You've got to be more careful with the football. From the 43-yard line, it's first down. It's a fumble. It's scooped up. just shows you how determined this defense is. Great play by the linebacker to come up with the ball after the fumble. And the offense will take the field, and they're certainly hoping to do better than they did on their last drive, which ended with a turnover. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. He hits him hard at the 38-yard line. The quarterback and his receiver make a great play here and convert on an early down. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. He scrambled, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. UTEP's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Middle got his back, and he's level at 
at the 35. Under a minute left. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. From the 35 yard line. Second down. Mike two, Mike two. Ready. Deep ball, laying it out there. Oh, he had a shot at the pick. He lets it go. Picked off, and that'll seal it up. And he is drilled at the 16. Steps up and makes a big turnover. Yeah, he just made a huge play right there. He knew what was coming all along. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. If you're an offensive coordinator, you love this play. His quarterback will take a knee. The Miners, they're going to have to call their third and final timeout. Around the 11 yard line. Third and 14. Ball on their own 11. Scoring points was a special occasion on this day. It's final. 17 10, sooner. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreet, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.